make an Uglies movie. Yeah. <laughs> Cassie, what inspired you to begin the first step in writing the Mortal Instruments? Uh, um, uh, visit to the tattoo shop. Cassie, did you ever think Jason would have such a huge fan base? I was unaware that he did. <laughs> Cassie, why do you use a pen name? How did you choose that name? Um, my, uh, my real name is extremely hard to spell and pronounce. I thought that this name was Zippier. Cassandra is the name I picked when I was very young because it's the name of Jane Austen's sister. And she once wrote a story called The Beautiful Cassandra, which was one of my favorite stories when I was a kid. <laughs> Did you base your characters off anyone real? If so, which one and why? Uh, none of my characters are based on someone specific. They are compa like compilations of uh, quirks and things about of people that I know and or historical figures and or literary figures that I have read about. So they are mixtures. Scott, who would you want to play Tally and David in the movie adaptation? It would have to be unknowns because unknowns are better <laughs> and don't look like Hollywood people and we don't already assume they're super beautiful because they're already stars <laughs> or something like that. So one of you, yes. Cassie, if you could be any vegetable, what would you be? Wait a minute. Parrot. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Do you have Caleb Nation's phone number? And can yes. I have it? 427-918-3610. Write it down fast. Cassie, what does James look for in a girl besides Clary? My Steve. Cassie, he takes all cameras, I think. <laughs> Cassie, what was your inspiration for the characters? And if anyone, who are they based on? We sort of answered that. But answered. Answered? All right. Um, Cassie, City of Bones being made into a movie. Could you please give any details? It's been optioned. It could be made into a movie. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Let's hope so. They're working on a screenplay right now. <laughs> Scott, what is your favorite kind of pie? <laughs> Apple pie. <laughs> Cassie, what part in your Mortal Instruments series was the hardest to write? Carrot. <laughs> The end of book three. The end is always the hardest. Scott, how did you think of hoverboards? Would you be brave enough to take the subway like Pearl with all the rats down there? What? Those are two different questions. Ho hoverboards. Uh, I've always wanted a hoverboard. I've always wanted anything to fly. I have dreams where I fly still to this day and always had them as a kid. And the other one was, would I be... Would you be brave enough to take the subway like Pearl with all the rats down there? Would you like to fly? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I would, I would totally love to go down into the subway and steal it down to the subway with rats. With the rats and everything. It's cool. Holly's done it. You mean during a vampire zombie apocalypse when I go down to the subway? <laughs> Despite the well-voiced constituency for me to go down into the subway during a vampire apocalypse, no, I would not. Thus ends the lightning round! Yeah.